Aren't these awesome? Check these out. Tiny little hoodoos. Have to be like really, I get, I get nervous like you know, standing too close to these and like, uh, like breathing on them because these are, are so delicate and so beautiful and it has taken so long, you know, like tens of thousands of years in order to create, you know, what it is that you're looking at here. Okay, so I'm not gonna walk over there because then I would put uh, footprints uh, <laughs> right in there and that would be pretty lousy. That's not what I want. But what I wanna point out to you is just this, these beautiful textures underneath these, um, underneath these rocks up here. Uh, you know, all of this is just caused by natural erosion and time and it just has a very uh, delicate quality to it. It's just really beautiful, really wonderful. I, I love that texture. And so now what I'm trying to do is uh, figure out how to, how to frame this. I don't really want to zoom in too close like that, at least to begin with. I do want the image to have some depth though. And uh, this is like 24 millimeters right here. So I'm thinking of including like a little bit of this over here, but I also like this, uh, this valley leading up through here because I feel like it gives the image um, additional depth. I think I'm gonna try to figure out a way to um, to include this over here and this over here. But one of the classic things that like I'm keeping an eye on, see how this rock right here kind of blends into the geometry of the, of the, the hill in the background. And so this is one of those situations where the, the tripod either needs to be set low or it needs to go high in order to account for that so that that doesn't land right on the line as it does right there, because then that creates friction and it just, it, it just doesn't, um, it doesn't look good. It just, <laughs> just to, you know, just to put it simply. So I think I'm, I'm gonna try both ways. I'm gonna pitch the camera up and down and, and uh, side to side and maybe do, uh, maybe do a telephoto over here. Uh, I did bring a telephoto GF lens with me. So I think, uh, I think I'm gonna give it a try. Beautiful right now. This really incredible band of um, magenta and blue here. New Mexico is such a crazy landscape. So wild out here because it is so flat. And there are places around here where you have a just a complete 360 degree unobstructed view of the of the entire sky. See all this right here in the foreground? There's this really nice sandstone that, I mean, it's a really, it's a big chunk of it. And it kind of ebbs and flows out this way and then leads up into here. And so what I'm doing is shooting it as a portrait orientation like so. Can you even see that <laughs> without reflection? Yeah, I think you, I think you probably get the idea trying to do it so that there is, you know, that, you know, this here in the foreground, that kind of, um, uh, and I like this filling in the bottom of the frame. I think that looks really nice and I'm trying to avoid this kind of dead area over here. Just focusing on this line here and then leading it back up into this back here. So yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like it's kind of working. I feel like it's looking pretty good. It's not the image at all that I intended to take. I thought it was going to be over there, but um, not bad. Well, now the, uh, now the light is definitely starting to come up. You can see it starting to, uh, 
starting to glow out there on the horizon. Just the first little glimpse of sunrise right out there. Again, don't want to get too, uh, too close to it here, but um, I'll point out some uh, things here. We have this you know, little bit of a rock formation right here, and we also have this sandstone back here behind it. And what I do when I'm looking for a composition is I'm trying to find balance in the image and not have like one side of the frame be too dominant and uh, too strong. Like I want it to be balanced from the, from the left to the right side. And one of the things I'm noticing is this hill right back here. Now this is the kind of thing that I can go high like this and include it, or I can bring it down low and exclude it. I think by excluding it, it definitely makes the image a little more minimal, I think, a little bit simpler. But by going higher, it increases the depth because then we get that hill back there. If I'm going to include that hill back there in the background, it needs to be like right in that crevice, right in that dip in the hill right there. Because when it is, I feel like that creates balance between the left and the right side of the frame and helps balance out the uh, taller uh, sandstone over to the right. Thanks to Epidemic Sound for providing all the music and sound effects in this video. Check out my favorite tracks at Epidemic Sound using the link in the video description below. And while you're there, sign up for a free trial to get all the music and sound effects you need for your next video.